Hey guys, welcome back to Beast Swarm Simulator, another episode of Beast Swarm Simulator. Welcome back, welcome back. Now I'm going to put in my quest thing because, right, your bees are really becoming attached to you. They care about you so much that they even fight to defend you. Raising the level of your bees will become important as you move up the mountain. If your bees are a lower level than bugs and monsters, their attacks may miss. Oh, come talk to me again in when you're ready for another lesson on caring for bees. Bonding with bees. Okay, I'm just gonna get this. Some treats are more special than others. If you're lucky, you may find rare treats hidden in the field. You may even see receive them from a bug you, you defeat. For your next lesson, I want you to find a sunflower seed and feed it to your bee. You're, you can find sunflower seeds right here in the sunflower field. They'll occasionally pop up as, out of the flowers as you collect pollen. They're quite rare, so, it's rare, so it could take a while. Well, I've already got 18. Literally, all I've got to do is um, feed 10. Okay, so, so she always wants you to feed a certain amount of treats to your bees. And then there's always also... You get one. And I'll give Bumblebee three treats. Obviously, it's not easy to just blast through all of these, so you're gonna have to do some stuff, and I'm gonna go put in my panda bear quest. I should also try working on my red request thing. Like, look at, it's at the very bottom, almost, and is 284 out of 600 pollen. That was just the beginning. By the way, have you noticed your bees are returning to the hive on their own? They're going back to sleep and recover their energy. Every time a bee gathers pollen or attacks an enemy, it loses one energy. You can see how much energy your bee has by clicking on its cell in the hive. Take this for now, come back when you're ready for more. Which one? Well, I know beetles are around here are aggressive and territorial. Fortunately for us, they're pretty weak. But are they weak enough for a newbie like you? Let's find out. Defeat two rhino beetles. Well, I know there's another rhino beetle in here. Oh, come get me, rhino beetle. You're so strong. <laughs> no, I... Oh, hey, look, he's already dead. No. Like, I attacked him once, and then he was gone. He died. I defended myself. You can't prove anything on me. All I did was defend myself. I'm not being bad. I didn't attack them just because I wanted to. And even if I did, it's Black Bear's f it's Panda Bear's fault, not mine. Ah! I fell down. I wasn't looking. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> just a sec. Sorry, my throat gets so sore from doing that voice. Oh, I captured a spotted chick by accident. <laughs> I need to craft those boots. I think it's like three blueberries and three sunflower seeds. As well as 4,400 honey. I got the honey. I'm pretty sure I got the sunflower seeds. Guess you're not a newbie. Here's a tip. When your bees attack an enemy, they use one energy. When they run out of energy, they have to return to the hive to sleep. You can see how much energy your bees have by clicking on, the on your cell in the hive. Take this for now. Come back when you're ready for more. You just keep saying that. So you can handle a few ladybugs and rhino beetles. I've bonked hundreds of them. If you want to reach my level, you'll need to level up your bees. If a bee is lower level than a bug, its attack will probably miss. Level up your bees, or they won't be able to fight. Now let's kick your lessons up a notch. Up a notch. Destroy three ladybugs and three line rhino beetles. Oh. Oh. Okay then. The beetle battle commences. Let the beetle battle commence! I'm just gonna look to see if I have enough. Oh, I don't have enough blueberries. I'm gonna need to hit the blue field. Uh, 
uh, so there's red request. I'll go over here. I got 48 tickets. I don't know if I should use 50 tickets on a, um, a, what's it called, um, a, a what's it called, um, a blue bee on a gold egg, or save up for something else. Also, honeybee creates little markers in the field that create little things, so my bees convert some of the honey when I'm not even at the hive. What's that noise? Thank you. Just a sec. Explode. There we go. Oh, Mondo Chick spawned. He spawns on the very top of the field and sometimes drops cool stuff. I can't go up there yet until I've got 20, 25 bees. If you're lucky, you might run across a strawberry while gathering in the fields with mostly red flowers. If you see leaves popping out of flowers, you should collect pollen near that area. That's where you're most likely to find strawberries and other treats. Okay, here's a reward to hold you over. Two more quests and the silver egg is yours. Pollen from blue flowers has always tasted slightly minty to mine. Brown Bear says it's all in my head. He just doesn't have a refined taste palette like I do. Speaking of blue flowers, could you collect 1,000 pollen from blue flowers for me? Dude, I'm get, I'm telling ya. If you keep asking me to do your little dirty work for you, instead of you just going over to the blue field eh, and licking up the stuff, licking up the pollen, I am going... People, they have no respect for me. Well, I did say that I wanted, um, uh, what's it called? Blueberries and that's the blue field place to find them. Also, guys, slight update. Because I'm in my new area that I explained in my Minecraft Madness episode 3 or 4, I can't matter which one, I am sitting on pillows. Well, right now, my pillows are completely flattened. Just, just flattened. Go there. Look at um there's fireflies. Okay. So if I launch the other ones upwards into the air. Maybe one over here or something. I just gotta go near them. See, look at there's a ticket. Anyways, there's a little explosion and a thing spawned. But I haven't not- looks like I haven't found all of them. I scare them, they fly up into the air, and then they go. Okay, so the, in the daytime they leave, so that's why I haven't found them before. Good, I'll get- I need more beetles. Luckily they respawn every like five minutes or so, or so, so they're pretty good. Look at, see how the little fives are going around, the sixes and little pink hearts? That means my guys are gaining bond of fives and sixes. Simple as that. Yes, get over here. Look at this. So look, it basically, it makes two little strings of things that convert stuff that's already in my car. Once I get jump boots, I can get up there and get an extra honey. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know how to get there already. Oh, hey, look, that's where the moon sprout is. Nobody's over there, and it's probably gonna take, like, it go I think it ranges from 500,000 pollen needed to get it to 100 to a million. Yeah, look at it, it says a million. So, yeah, okay. Look at this is where you go. So you go up there, and then you jog into here. And you can either come out here, or you can walk this way. And jump up. And get a royal jelly. So, yeah, a little something for you there. Into the blue is being completed. This is probably going to be my last video for the day because it's already 
10 minutes in and so I'm just gonna go hand in this quest and be good, okay guys? Okay, thanks. Do I still not have enough blueberries? I still don't have enough blueberries. Sheesh. What's it take to get blueberries around here? Obviously not what I not a not what I'm doing. Do you see that little star going up? If you have a gifted bee, sometimes when they gather pollen, um, you get there's an, they spawn an inspire token, which double which gives you five seconds of double, um, what's it called? Double um, double pollen, and you can also get this for like thirty seconds to a minute from um. Okay, nice. Hey, uh, from a baby bee, but nobody wants baby bees because they got like, I'm pretty sure they've got zero attack, and they can gather barely any pollen. Nice job. Say, did you find any blueberries out there? No. Fields with mostly blue flowers occasionally produce blueberries. You can feed to your bees. Here's a reward to hold you over. One more quest and the silver egg is yours. Thank you. Just a set. I'd like to talk to you. Variety is the spice of life. It's also the spice of honey. If you collect po me pollen from a variety of flowers, I'll give you my silver egg. I'll take a thousand pollen from a mushroom field, a thousand from a clover field, and from the mushroom field, the clover field, and the blue flower field. Okay, well guys, don't forget, you want, don't forget to like the video, because I know, it's amazing. Subscribe to my channel, you're supporting me out tremendously, and then while you're at it, once you subscribe, you can put on notifications for it to show when, whenever I upload a new video. I don't know if I've showed this, but if you go behind this honey jar, you go up here, yeah, look, you can get three tickets. And if you're really good at jumping, you can go way over there. Oh, great, now I'm stuck. Well, guys, this is a great place to end off the episode. Bye, guys!